This is Ed Reed talking and also seeing, working the sleeve with Jessie, better known as Buckskin Girl, owned by Roger Tapster. We'll be seeing more of Jessie later on in this film. But before that, we'll see a little more of her on the sleeve. Jessie is broken off with a breaking stick. Her grip is so powerful. This is the crowd at Pinfold Road, enjoying refreshments whilst awaiting the next event. It's quite a family affair to bring the kids and the family, to bring old Rover, see what he can do. Here we see that very well-known dog, Dread. Dread is being handled by Tony Cooper. Tony was good enough to come along on the day and demonstrate for all our friends at Pinfold Road, at my London location, just how to keep a, a dog happy and healthy through exercise, in this case, on the flirt pole. It looked like Dread's enjoying it, Tony's enjoying it, and I think the crowd appreciate it. It's nice to see Tony Cooper and Dredd at Pinfold Road. Tony was telling us what a, a bear for work Dredd is. He just loves it. He just can't get enough, so Tone gives him all he possibly can. He's sure enjoying it. dog becoming acquainted with flirt pull. Trisha here is introducing Snickersnee, around six to seven months old, to the lure at the end of the flirt pull, trying to keep him interested in getting him acquainted with the idea of following it along the ground and then over a jump. Let's watch him for a minute. He's getting the idea.
notice how he tries, she, Trisha tries to keep it as close to his nose as possible without him getting a hold of it. The idea is to keep him interested in it so as he'll go along the ground, he'll jump over things and he gets exercise. That is the way to start the dog out. Also, you'll note that the jump isn't very high. That's about two, two and a half foot high, that jump. It's sufficient for a young dog. Here comes Mike. He's got another flirt pole that he's getting ready. So as, if the dog does get a hold of this one, which he very often does, then Trish will be able to have the other stick handy with the lure attached to it. So as the exercise can continue, Buckskin girl, Jesse, again with Roger Capster. Pulling a log out of the water. Very determined girl is Jesse. Now the boys are gonna pick it up, it's thrown back in again. stops Jesse. Very, very determined. Roger tells us every time, as we saw here, you throw it in, Jesse goes in. Hot water, cold water, summer, winter, makes no difference. In goes Jesse, and she'll pull it out. If it can be pulled out, she'll pull it out, just as we're seeing here. In this old Airedale, now gone, one of Roger's dogs was always there to applaud Jesse. Here we 
we'll be getting down to some tenacity tests of getting the dogs to take a hold and hang on. In this case, this is eight-month-old Snickersnick. And this is Chiffon Ennis, who owns Snickersnick, seeing Hanlon. few of us take turns in putting Snickersnee to the test. Although he's a very young dog, he is very tenacious. As we see here, he just hangs on. Finally, after a few of us have put him to the test, we do have to break him off. Although we won't see that, but we will be seeing him just hanging on. Snickersnee. so carried away there he would fly him through the air, hit the kid, knock him off, off his feet, and then, as we see here, right back onto the hole. Lancaster, who himself is very interested in this kind of tenacity testing, we'll be seeing in a few minutes uh, Phil Craven Lancaster testing his Staffordshire Bull Terrier, as we are doing here with Snickersnee. We're putting Snicker to the test here between the two of us. This will go on for a little while, and then after this, we'll be seeing. Phil, Craven Lancaster, putting his Staffordshire Bull Terrier through it. A tenacity test of this type.
any time. He's holding on. This is Phil Craven Lancaster with his Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Zaffer. Zaffer is about 14 to 15 inches at the shoulder, 37, 38 pound, and he's around three years old. He's also a very, very tenacious little Staffordshire Bull Terrier, as we see here. Phil is putting him through his paces here. So we'll just watch. I think the action speaks for itself. Here we are at Brunel University Sports Center, August 1987, at a weight pull. The strongest dogs of all. 